Hello, Cheng Kiet here. I'm the course instructor for this subject on Science, Chemistry and Biology. I'm a graduate from Swiss Cottage Secondary School and Singapore Polytechnic with a diploma in Applied Chemistry. I have developed this online course on Combined Science, Chemistry and Biology based on the latest MOE syllabus. This course consists of 14 modules with a total of 53 videos. There are 7 chemistry modules, 6 biology modules and 1 module on the practical aspect of this subject. To facilitate your learning process, revision exercise with solutions for the first 12 modules are provided. These questions are similar to those that you encounter in your examinations. Do practice them and if you have any ambiguity, feel free to post your questions in the comments section below. Before we start the actual course, here are some revision tips that you can use throughout the course of study of this subject. First, you have to understand the concepts by summarizing the contents. In this subject, you encounter a lot of facts, a lot of theories and a lot of processes that you need to memorize. And if you've memorized for the sake of memorizing, it will be a very painful process for you. So it's better to understand before you memorize. So what you can do is first, relate the theories together across all chapters in chemistry and biology. This is because in science, all chapters are related to each other, and we usually do not isolate them. If you isolate them, you have a very limited perspective of the particular topic. Also, you can draw or print out the body system diagram and label the respective organs and stately function as well. This will provide a summary of the biology chapters that you encounter in this subject. Lastly, try applying the theories in real life and experimental scenario. This will make the registering of theories become an easier process for you. So you will not memorize for the sake of memorizing, but you will be able to relate to real scenarios to help you understand better. Next, you should practice the questions and examination paper to understand the different types of questions that can be asked in examination. In this process, you will discover new ways of attempting questions and new ways that the questions can be crafted, which will broaden our view on each topic. Especially when you encounter applications question, this is where relating to real life scenario will help you a lot, and if you practice more, you will become perfect. Lastly. Take note of the observations in each chemical reaction or biological test. So because you will need to perform qualitative analysis, so you need to be observant and be sensitive to the production of gas, precipitates or any color change in the, solu in the solution. And if there are, you should be able to record them down and state what is the change about. With this, we'll kickstart the course with the first module on the particular nature of matter. 